Hello YouTube comic book community. I'm Carlos, but I'm back again for uh, this week's comics. What I picked up this week at the shop. No back issues, but speaking of which, uh, recently I've been going through my uh, collection and uh, I've been rereading some of my uh, old back issues, but I mean, not the really old stuff, but you know, the stuff that I started with way back in 1999-2000 so I just a few weeks ago I finished my uh, Iron Man run which is Iron Man volumes 3 numbers 25 through 61 and um, it's a very, very short run and the two annuals as well the 2000 and 2001 annual uh, there are a couple of issues miss missing between that run I actually had to drop that title and the Avengers which I finished yesterday rereading that issues 24 through 6 through 60 because at the time I had some personal problems and I just had to drop a couple of titles so you know very very enjoyable books by the way you know the entire uh, Kurt music run on uh, Avengers is just outstanding outstanding stuff anyways this week was very very cool it was one of those heavy weeks not a lot of comics I actually but well not a lot I don't buy stacks of comics I just you know, have a very limited amount of comics that I buy but all of them were were excellent and there's one book this week that was just outstanding you know well Let's get started. First, you know, uh, we have a uh, Superman number twenty-one. Um, I'm really liking, you know, this book. You know, I like Superman, but uh, you know, I, I understand that some people do have a few problems with Scott Lobdell's uh, writing. But you know, I, what I really like about it is, you know, you can really just jump into this book, and you know, you you get the chance to catch up on what's going on as it's all being you know explained throughout and uh, you really this continues the um, uh, Hector Hammond story you know but there is a new um, subplot that's been added so you know he's just setting up things up for for future stories as well you now the art by uh, Kenny Rockefeller, you know, just, you know, just beautiful. I mean, I really, really like this guy's art. You know, it's it's, it's unusual, it, as it doesn't really go through the traditional paneling that, you know, most comics do. So, but I still feel not the art so, so is great. Next up, you know, and I, I wasn't even going to pick this book up because it kind of upset me upset at my uh, my um, my 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 weekly uh, budget but you know everybody's been picking it up I actually saw the uh, previews of the book and I really liked what I what I read you know the, the art is is interesting that's it's not not usually the type of art I like but you know I had to get it anyways, Batman Superman, because for me personally, you know, Greg Pak, you know, is actually uh, going to be writing uh, action comics in, in, the, in the next few months, so I really wanted to kind of get, you know, how his feel on, on the, on Superman especially, but, you know, it's, it's a really interesting story, you know. I don't really know what happened there at the end, but uh, you know, I'm hooked. I really, I especially like seeing that this is as the uh, first Superman Batman meeting, so it's always interesting, especially since you know, since you know, post crisis, the characters have been very, very different in their portrayal. So you know, you you have a very in a different take on both characters, you know, and that kind of carried over into the uh, 
in 52 and there are very extreme differences between both next up another favorite of mine you know Aquaman and I don't think I mentioned this before but when I was you know younger I actually really liked Aquaman he was like my second favorite character because I liked him when I was a kid I really liked Aquaman after super super it would be Superman then it would be Aquaman so you know since you know brightest day you know getting the Aquaman I really like I mean, I have nothing against, you know, for example, Peter David's version of the character, but it just didn't really feel like Aquaman to me, and just, you know, an effort to try to make the uh, character cool. And, you know, Jeff Johns, you know, goes for a more classic approach, and, uh, you know, he made Aquaman cool. Next up, The Flash. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like the book. I mean, I think the the uh, biggest attraction to that book is the art by Francis Manapu, more than the writing. And this one's, you know, for a book called The Flash, you know, a lot did not happen. It was basically, you know, Flash chasing Kid Flash. And we're still waiting for that uh, reverse Flash uh, confrontation, but it seems to be it'll be coming until you know next issue so you know i really i still like the book still find it entertaining but you know not particularly this issue wasn't all that hot for me you know just you know anyways this is the pick of the week for me as much as i like superman Justice League number 21 was just an, an excellent, excellent book. It concludes, of course, the uh, Shazam origin. And one of the things I love about this book is this double page spread. Right here. In a second. Uh, yeah, here we go. This double page spread of uh you know all the uh kids billy gives all the kids you know the part of the power of his of shazam and uh you know i just really really love this this just because of this i mean i really love you know the the designs actually of of the new look i mean i, I definitely like you know freddy still getting the uh blue Captain Marvel Jr. Uh, look. You know, this is just very classic. But the thing I and of course Mary, I mean her, her particular design and most other designs for the uh, Shazam look is very much. I guess you could say uh, ancient Middle East, Middle Eastern, you know, with the uh, little hood here. You know, very, you know, if you look at uh, ancient paintings or interpretations of, uh, you know, ancient Israelis or Egyptian, you know, they have these sort of, we much sort of wore these sort of like um, handkerchiefs, you know, as uh, hoods or whatever. And as well as, you know, the, the boots, you know, they're like uh, almost simulating, you know, you know, simulating um, sandals. So I thought was, that was very cool in the design. The story itself, you know, a lot of people actually didn't really like Billy Batson. You know, this guy was like, uh, he wasn't like the old Billy, you know, uh, sort of sweet type, type of kid, which in the 1940s worked. But, you know, kids aren't, you know, reading these books. And usually writers that back then, you know, they would... Uh, more or less, you know, try to bring, you know, moral values to in their comics because they would be, you know, especially the facet books, they would be geared toward children. But, you know, here we actually see Billy finally taking some responsibility and, you know, kind of, you know, becoming, you know, what 
Shazam is supposed to be, you know, the champion of magic, you know, the champion of the wizard. You know, he's leading the the kids, you know, the new Shazam family, I guess you could say, uh, in doing what they have to do. And uh, building Black Adam with his brains and not with his fists. So, you know, this is, you know, the final moment of growth for, for, for Billy for really embracing the responsibility he he was given by the wizard a very good story very good art you know Gary Frank has you know is an excellent artist and uh, moving on Teen Titans number 21 uh, it's continuing with the um, whole Trigon thing and it's an okay issue you know um, this issue they actually fight Raven's brothers, you know, the other uh, offspring, you know, the or spawns of, of Trigon. Um, I really don't know what the deal is with Raven because earlier she was kind of shown to be in favor of, of, of Trigon. Then suddenly she kind of changed and started to help the Titans. So I don't know what the hell happened there. Yeah, you know, it, it's still inter it's still a very entertaining book, I guess. You know, um, I really like the Teen Titans. I've been following them since the previous uh, volume. So you know, when I chose my uh, New Fifty Two books to pick up, you know, that was one of those because I really wanted to see what they were doing with the Teen Titans. And, uh, you know, uh, this doesn't really, you know, necessarily, uh, the cover at least doesn't have anything necessarily to do with the story. What I think was the best part was the ending where um, the Titans, except in a Red Robin, uh, Raven, obviously, and uh, Beast Boy. Um, oh, well, you know, sorry, I'm, uh, I lost my, my train of thought. The Titans, except Red Robin, Raven, and uh, Beast Boy, who showed up last issue, are possessed by, by Trigon, so that means, you know, it's gonna be, you know, Dark Titans, as it's, as they put in the, uh, Last page again, you know, that Robin saw the Titans. So we have Hero versus Hero fight, I guess. Coming in issue 22. Finally, um, All Star Western number 21. You know, this is the first issue of Jonah Hex going to coming to the present. I've been following uh, Jonah Hex and you know. The Justin Regimi Palmiotti a run. So of course I have to pick this up because you know their take on Jonah Hex. Um you know I'm I wasn't really into a lot of westerns before picking up Jonah Hex and you know the way they write the hack, you know the writing really really didn't change from you know the previous volume or before from the Jonah Hex book to this to the New 52, just the same kind of crazy fun Hex gets into, and now that he's in modern Gotham, you know, well, you know, it's gonna be a fun book. It, it's a fun book. It's yeah, it's a little bit fun, a little bit, uh, you know, guess politically incorrect could be that word, and uh, I've been enjoying this this. This, this book for a very long time. I think a lot of people should really, you know, be reading, you know, this one as well. You know. And, uh, well, I guess those were my pickups for this week, you know. And, um, next week, light, light, uh, light week. So that means I might be getting some back issues to show you I'm trying I'm still 
about to finish up um, my run on the Valiant and uh, I'm about to finish, you know, all the comics that I have with uh, Arthur and Armstrong. Like I mentioned before, I have one mission missing that it's in the shop. Uh, I have to pick up another Harbinger, Harbinger book as well. Um, from there, then on, you know, I really don't know what I'm going to pick up after that. Um, if it's going to be another violent title, I don't know which one. So if so, I would ask if anybody has read Valiant, what book should I pick up next, or two books I should pick up next from Valiant, uh, besides Carpenter and uh, Archer and Armstrong, which I just finished. That'd be, that would be great. And another thing, what Marvel tell I should pick up as well? Because I've been trying to get into Marvel. I mean, I know they're very, you know, expensive books. I mean, three ninety nine, and when I mostly buy two ninety nine books. But I've been trying to pick up uh, a Marvel title, you know. But you know, I just find it the way Marvel is today. I don't know which books I should pick up. Which I, if I should pick up what X Men book or Avenger book or you know what what would be your suggestion for me to try in, in a Marvel book one one book and uh, that'd be great because you know I've, I've I've been sorry about that I've been seeing a lot of you guys you know buying Marvel but you know and there's some good titles you know they are that. I've been wanting to try out, you know, there, you know, for example, All New X-Men was a book that kind of caught my eye a while back, but, you know, 2 and it's a heavy week when it comes out, or, you know, there's so many books that, you know, I might miss it. In fact, the last Marvel book I tried was Scarlet Spider, but, you know, it's kind of, you know, after a very heavy promotion from Marvel, and I just kind of went, you know, unnoticed, you know, just floating there, you know, uh, Superior Spider-Man is, you know, the, the big book, you know, you got all the Avengers X-Men books, and there are only like three X-Men books, I, I believe, that, you know, are right now that, uh, as the uh, big ones, you know, same with the Avengers, you know, they're when I bring more Avenger books, but you know, I think you know, the uh, Marvel's overdoing it a bit. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, take care and keep smiling.